I welcome to Base Mechanical Engineering. In this video, I teach you the difference between impulse and reaction turbines, or it's called also the comparisons between the impulse and reaction turbines. This is the figure of impulse turbine, and this is the figure of reaction turbines. That uh, difference is we understand by using the different figures for better understanding of this concept. Now, the first difference is on the basis of energy supplied to the turbine okay so these are the turbine that is the rotate this is the nozzle and this blue part is the water jet okay now when the water is strike to the turbine blades at that time water have only kinetic energy then it is known as the impulse turbine means water have only kinetic energy means water have a pressure but its pressure is the atmospheric pressure so it is known as the moving blade has only kinetic energy in impulse turbines when we talk about the reaction turbine the energy at the inlet of the moving plate is kinetic as well as the pressure energy means time at which we supply the water have a both the energy that is a both energy means kinetic it is denoted as k and the p means pressure energy at the inlet of this when it strike to the blade then it is known as the reaction turbine the simple logic is that only kinetic energy then impulse turbine and rea in reaction turbine water have two energy kinetic as well as the pressure energy next point is that the entire fluid energy of the water is first converted into kinetic energy in the nozzles means the water is coming from the reservoirs through the penstock so this is pipe is the penstock now in the penstock water have a two energy pressure as well as the kinetic energy but the pressure energy of this water is converted into the kinetic energy in this nozzle so nozzle have this reducing diameter so at that time in this nozzle it is completely converted into the kinetic energy then it is strike onto the turbine runners now in a reaction turbine the available energy of the water is partially converted into the kinetic energy in a fixed blade so in this reaction turbine the water is coming from the penstock then going here and this guide wheel is known as the fixed blade okay so in the fixed blade the water is partially converted into the kinetic energy its complete conversion of pressure into kinetic is not done it is known as the reaction turbines when in impulse turbine the full pressure energy is completely converted in kinetic energy in the nozzle now instance of nozzle in a reaction turbine we use the fixed blade and fixed blade is also known as the guide wheel if you learn something then like the video comment on that subscribe and share with your friend now third point is that the pressure of the flowing water remains constant and is equal to atmospheric pressure in the first point i already tell as a inlet only kinetic energy means there is a no pre pressure have not zero but it have the atmospheric conditions so in a whole turbine the pressure is remains constant and it is the atmospheric pressure when in reaction turbine the pressure and velocity both are change while passing through the runners so in reaction turbine in a input we supplying the pressure energy as well as the kinetic energy so it is partially converted in a different components in a different forms then it is known as the reaction turbine now four points in a impulse turbine water flow through the nozzles and strike on the moving blade mount and on the wheels so water come from the reservoir to the penstock and at the end of the penstock we install the nozzles through the nozzle water is directly strike on the runner or a bucket of the blade when in reaction turbine the water first enters in a fixed blade and then the runners so here the penstock water from the penstock is enter into this casing from the casing it is going in the guide wheel or it is known as the fixed blade then after it is going into the runner it means that is a number of way pass passing then it is strike to the runner in the impulse turbine water directly strike to the bucket or a runners next point is that the in impulse turbine water may admitted over a part of the circumference so these are the circumference of a impulse turbine okay this is the rotating parts this call as the circumference of the runner on a only minor parts or a some part of the circumference water is strike so in a impulse turbine water is strike on very small parts if you using the two or three jets then it is strike on the more circumference but it's not covered the full circumference of the runner 
so it is only covered the some parts of the circumference when in reaction turbine the water must be admitted over the whole circumference of the wheel so these are the circumference of this wheel guide wheel so this guide wheel is fully submerged inside the water that means it's covered the full circumference or we also written instance of the full whole circumference of the wheel if you learn something then like the video subscribe the channels and share with your friend next point is that it is not required that the wheel should be run full of water means this bucket or a wheel it's not required to completely full with the water that is related with the last point the water is strike only a minor circumference of the point if we use the two or three or six nozzles then it's cover the more circumference but not the full in the reaction turbines the water is completely full sorry runner is completely filled with the water so it is required that the wheel or turbine should always run full or full and keep full of water means the water come from here so this runner or a guide wheel is completely filled with the water means whole the circumference of the runner is completely filled with the water on a 360 degree okay in a part of the impulse turbine it's only cover the minor angle that is a 2 or 3 degree by the water in a impulse turbines it is possible to regulate the flow without loss in a impulse turbine water is directly strike to the bucket so it's uh, possible to regulate the flow without loss in a reaction turbine it is not possible to regulate the flow without loss because water is passing from this casing and casing to the guide wheel so there is a number of friction is covered between that is a more part than more friction and losses is increased so that point is covered on the basis of the frictions friction is higher than it is uh, losses is more and the uh, next point is that work done is based on the which type of energy so in impulse turbine we already know the supplied water have only kinetic energy so in impulse turbine the work done produced is only depend on the kinetic energy of the jet when in reaction turbine the work is done partially by the change in velocity head but almost by the change in pressure head means it's depend on the what velocity as well as pressure but majority of the work done is produced by change in the pressure head the velocity is affect to the very minor portions and the last point sorry the it is not last point impulse turbine governing is done by using the needle valve fitted into the nozzle so this is the nozzles inside the nozzle we fit that uh, spears or a needles so by using this we are doing the governing governing means changing the quantity of water supplied to the turbines in reaction turbines the angle is changed or uh, governing is done by using the guide blade assembly means changing the angle of guide blades now in reaction turbine there is different component that is a guide wheel and then runners so this yellow portions is connected with the guide wheel so guide wheel is installed inside that are not located in the figures but this yellow color portion is used to change the angle of guide blade and this guide blade angle is changed and quantity of water is changed so this guide wheel is changed by using this lever mechanisms and the last point is that examples of impulse turbine the in a impulse turbine there is only one turbine and it is known as the pelton wheel turbines in reaction turbines it is a two type of the reaction turbine that is a francis as well as the kaplan and propeller turbines thank you for watching this video if you learned then like subscribe and share with your friend